Welcome back to the dream. I'm afraid I have to wake you from it. Your time's come. And now it's time to activate the devices in the other two areas. And I think we will encounter Sphine. Let's just get started, shall we? All right, we know how that works. Dauntless Adventures, I bid you welcome to Style Volcano, Volcane, the sanctu Sanctuary of the Strong. Fight with courage and honor and your legend may resound furthermore. In the area, Arena of Valor. Area, no, it's Arena. The flu do 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 Yeah <laughs> It's only an illusion. It's only an illusion. What's this now? Don't tell me you're afraid of the lava. N no, not on your life. If it isn't even real, is it? Oh, well, definitely not. But don't take my word for it. Jump in and see for yourself. Nope, need. I believe you. I jump in. After I put my finger in it to see if it was hot. <laughs> wow, it's all the way up there. There. That. There's the terminal. You can get to it via the caverns that run through the volcano. I'll go ahead and wait for you. Take care around the wildlife now. Hey, Aaronville. I'll explore alone. You needn't worry. I'll give the wildlife a wild berth. Poor Anvil, he's still coming to terms with it. You can hardly blame him. Let's leave him be for now. Come on, let's get moving ourselves. This one I think will be a dungeon. Shall we go have a soak? Oh, you want to have a soak? Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Yeah, fire sprites doesn't shock me. Oh god, what's this place gonna look like? The volcano's not gonna. I don't. I honestly don't know what this place is gonna look like when you take everything away from them. Yeah, northwest, which I don't think I'm currently heading that direction. Okay, I might be. Right, it seemed to be more direct path to the terminal, but I must say, I'm curious about that building to the left. Oh, uh, yeah. The mechanical soldiers are as common here as they are in Solution 9. I wonder how long they were ago when they were created. I'll see them probably, Arena. Looks like we have two paths to choose from. I thought I saw Kakuya heading left, though. While that would seem to be a detour, I must say I'm rather curious about that round building. Well, I'm always up for the scenic group. Let's follow Kakuya and see what's in the build. Uh, what the building's about. All right. Personally, I think we're on a very strict time limit, but. Eh, at times, people just don't care, and I was like, eh. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Oof. Nope. Go away. Go away. Founder. 
Uh, the round building with seating for spectators might be the city of fighting arena. Horse in the round. Aaronville is elsewhere, of course. Give me a second. There is a fate in there. Um, I got a feeling this is a special fate. You know, if I do this... Give me a second. Alright, uh, yeah, stand free stands. Is anyone gonna join? Doesn't look like anyone's in the area. Alright, let's do this. Choco, I'll see you later. Thanks for joining me. Hey, the fate was here. I'm like, why not? Didn't do much damage, but man, if no one came, I probably wouldn't have been able to kill it. Was not doing that much damage to it. All right, I'm here. 
Well, now, look who came this way, too. Great minds, as they say. This appears to be a fighting arena, and it's also a recreation of an actual place. In all likelihood, while I don't know the details, I understand such facilities were once common across the land. Though it's closed at the moment, even Solution 9 has an Arcadian. It may well be a legend legacy of the past. Anyway, it seems the next match is about to begin. As I've already spectated my fill, I'll move on. But you ought to head inside for a look. I mean, I just took part in it and whooped its butt. Alright, let's just go in. Not gonna lie, the seats look empty from here. This is a song that plays with Steiner and Beatrix finally team up in just three. Oh, I love this song. I really love this song. What a boring match. They use the same spell. That rather resembles Arcanima, wouldn't you agree? Indeed. While similar arts could have developed independently across reflections, this verges on being identical. They use swift cast on you. <laughs> Wait. Uh oh. Cryl? Uh oh. Cryl? Um. I now know the main story of this expand. Uh, this uh, uh, place. Is something wrong? Yes. What? Do we know each other from somewhere? Come on, dear. Oh. I'm sorry, but I must be going. Wait, please! You're new here, I gather. It may seem strange at first, but give it time. You'll grow accustomed to it soon enough. No, no, no I, I'm not. Uh, rather, I'm... Uh... Oh, what can I say? Of course. This earring. Do you recognize it? Impossible. My name is Kryl. When I was a baby, I was taken from this world to another, where I grew up without knowledge of my past. I know not how much time has passed for you, and, uh, things may not be as you expect them to be, but I'm here now. I found my way back. This earring, it contained a code with which I was able to reopen the gate. And I did, and I'm here. And... Could it be as she claims? She's not lying. I can tell. And there is no mistaking the earring. Hey, Kyle, we had to kill your parents. 
Oh. How you've grown, my darling daughter. It has been 20 years. Ooh, it's gonna be hard for her to go through with, probably. Uh, yes, names. I'm Robor, and this is Alila, your mother. Doubtless we have a mountain of questions for each other, but perhaps we can take this somewhere quieter? The Heat Wells, for instance. There's a spot there where we can relax and chat. I think Kraut will actually meet her parents. Miracles really do happen here. I'm happy for Kryle. Could it be that the system orchestrated this reunion as well? Forgive me, this is so much to take in. I'm struggling to collect my thoughts. It is understandable. The taste of family. Kryle has regained some composure. Alright, I feel a little calmer now. I thought myself prepared for the possibility, but to actually come face to face with parents was overwhelming. And having been parted from them as an infant, I'm not sure how to behave. Take your time. After everything that's happened, you deserve to do so. Now, ha you have many things to say to one another. Now you can say them. Indeed, this is a meeting to be cherished. Just do what comes natural, eh? Thank you, everyone. I'll make the most of the time together. Alright, let me hop on the mount. Wasn't expecting this one. Man, I can't wait to fly over this area. Damn it, never mind. I was gonna say it's gonna be so beautiful to explore this one, but yeah, it's a little not gonna look like this, sadly. Wait. Ah, you know I'll worry about it after, like I said before. Like I said, if I see it, I will get it. Hey man. Oh. The heat wells. I gotta attune that. I can attune it now. I'm right there. Northwest. Yeah, I'm not going that way at the moment. Alright, let's attune this. Yeah, this area is gonna be big. Alright, Kryle, I'm coming back. Oh. What? I'm in this mount now. Oh, wow. Oh, those... Okay, not gonna lie, never been in a hot spring or anything, but... Man, I would love to just lie in that right now. That would feel amazing, especially probably after a day of work. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I 100% would. You're all our daughter's friends, yes? Thank you for bringing her to us. That we should meet our daughter again, here of all places. You could car carve the tension with a knife. Just Let's just keep an eye on things for now. Hey, Kryle, act normal. No need to be, you know, someone you're not. There. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, nope, nope, they're talking. We're good. It's such a strange feeling to be reunited with you beyond death. Your companions, what are they called? Oh dear, completely forgotten to introduce them. Over here is Waklama, Val Resolve of Tiliolo. Beside her is Grahatia, my colleague and the student of Valdassian. And 
me in my amazing jacket. And this is Bader, an adventurer, though that hardly doesn't justice. He is the most dependable of friends to whom I owe my life. My word, we cl clearly have a great deal of, th uh, of thanks to give, don't we, dear? Oh, uh, yes, yes we do. Our heartfelt gratitude to all of you. Smoothest of beginnings, is it? If only we had some shock repeal to ease the way, am I right? Wait, that's not a bad idea. Give it time, let it happen naturally. Hey, are you hungry? We could bring you something to eat if you like. Oh, uh, thank you, but we're fine. You know, it's quite hot here by the springs. Something cold would be lovely. Understood, we'll fetch you all some treats that'll help you cool off. I wouldn't want to be a bother, but... Make nothing of it. This is what friends are for. Thank you. We shall look forward to the cool treats. Problem is, any food we get you, you're not going to be able to taste. As we've learned, good food brings good people together, or brings people together, even sworn foes. We have. That was well con conceived, Wakuma. <laughs> Just putting what I learned in Yachtel to use. If I had to mention a, a potential problem, however, is that food here tastes like nothing to the living. Seriously, I had no idea. Still, it appears to be perfectly enjoyable for the endless. Uh, and going along with the idea, Cryo likely understands this. It may not instantly break the ice, but I'm hopeful that it will help to thaw it. So, shall we go split up and look for what Alaya requested? Something cold? Iro uh, I ironically. This is supposed to be a special moment, so I say we get the best treat there is. One that will leave an impression. The locals ought to know, um, ought to be recommend something. If you want to ask people near to Aetherite, Vader, Graha, Tia, and I will do, uh, do the same thing. Okay, so, uh, da, 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 da. Man, I am trying to speed read and it is not working for me. Talk to some people. Oh, well, hell if I jump. I thought that said Florida man. Let me see. I'm going to take a guess. No idea what's in the box. It looks like a bag. Pretzels. Popcorn. Cookies. I don't really... See. Oh, maybe a cup of whatever this is. Hmm, what snack to have today? Alright, you want a recommendation for something tasty and cold? This stall doesn't have that sort of thing, I'm afraid. But speaking of something cold, I could use an ice drink with my snack. I think I'll get a coffee. Actually, a tea might be better. Or even lemonade. But I can't but I can't get past a beer. Yes, let's make it a white beer today. That, man. Hmm. A cold treat that'll leave an impression. That's a difficult one. A style volcano volcano is home of fighters. So the food here is mostly the hearty and filling kind. Ah, right. There is a popular stall in the southwest that might just have what you're after. Why don't you go take a look? Florid, man. Whew, after a long hot soak like that, I'm gonna need a gold star ice cream. What? You don't know what gold star ice cream is? It's the most popular treat here at Asile Volcano. While it's a little tricky to tuck into, you can't come here and not try it. There's a stall just to the southwest, and you have no excuses. Oh, let me just mount.
Blobian. I walk. Oh, there's the ice cream vendor. Ah, so you're here too. Everyone I spoke with recommended Gold Star ice cream. Those colorful balls stacked on top of each other. That'd be an ice cream, I take it. I can see the appeal, but it's going to be hard to deliver intact. We need three servings, so let's get Braha to help carry one. Just leave it to me. You mean you can do it alone? Well, there do seem to be vessels for carrying three. Are you sure about this? Oh, yeah. Great. They're definitely safer in your hands uh, than mine. I'll go tell Graha everything's taken care of. See you back at the springs. I'm gonna regret that. Sir, I would like three. Hello, would you care for our famous gold star ice cream? I would like three. Ah, all right, three servings coming up. Here you go. You'll want to be quick so it doesn't melt. But be careful so it doesn't collapse. Good luck and enjoy. I got two minutes. Go, go, go. Hurry. The ice cream's melting. Here you go, everybody. I found your ice cream. Goodness me, what an amazing looking treat. Thank you so much, Bader. Never did we imagine that such a reward awaited us. Isn't that so, Robor? Uh, yes. He seems out of it. Oh, don't mind your father. Like me, he's still getting used to seeing you all grown up. Okay, yep, this is now awkward. Uh, this is just excruciating. It's something. Yes, well, a 20-year blank is not so quickly filled. Even so, there's got to be something we can do. Hmm. Wow, tell him about painting. You know, I think I might have an idea. Oh. Graha. Uh, well, he's gone. Raha? What is he doing? <laughs> mm. Oh, you, you needn't force yourself. It doesn't taste of anything to the living, surely. It's delicious. I mean it. I've never tasted anything so good. <laughs> it really does taste so much better when we're all together. Yes, indeed. Suddenly craving dessert. How about you? Nah, I prefer actual nourishment. Well, I guess so. Well, the problem is ice creams are hit and miss. It might upset my tummy. Uh, 
truly. We've never felt so happy in all our lives. Oh god, it's so gelato in the freezer! You don't know how to thank you. Random tangent, I got gelato in the freezer. <laughs> but at the very least, we can give you some answers. You've risked so much and come so far from them after all. It is our understanding you are researching a power called interdimensional fusion. Will you tell us about it? To begin at the very beginning, there is a legend passed down by our people, the Milala. In the distant past, we abided in a different world. Our homeland was a paradise of eternal summer. The flowers were always in bloom. Until, that is, the great calamity turned the very seas to ice. As those around them froze to death, our ancestors looked to a mighty relic for salvation. By its power, they opened a portal and used it to flee to another reality. The key is none other than that relic, and it has been in the safekeeping of our people since time immemorial. Yes. When lightning threatened this world, we attempted to use the key to flee again like our ancestors once did. Alas, no matter what we tried, we couldn't invoke its power. We had all but given up when preservation approached us with an offer of partnership. Desperate as we were, we accepted their help, only to later discover their ulterior motive to plunder other worlds of ether. Seeking to frustrate their plans, we defected from the Order, and as their agents closed in on us, we seized control of the prototype gate and activated it. What followed you already know. We sent our daughter and the key through the portal, entrusting them to the men we encountered. You were born with an unusual gift, you see. Upon learning of it, preservation sought to subject you to experiments. An unusual gift. The Echo, I dare say. Our people, the Milala. Are there any ways I might learn more about them? There are, such as visiting the cavern inside the volcano. Our ancient homeland has been recreated there. While it's intended to serve as an entertaining diversion, it ought to teach you a thing or two about our history and traditions. May we go there? Selfish though it may be, I should love to learn of my ancestors. Of them, and of the legacy my parents entrusted to me. Sure, by all means. As it happens, it's on the way to our destination. the volcano we've had enough ice cream you know what? i'm gonna talk to these two real quick you all have good hearts our daughter is fortunate to have friends like you you've gone through so much trouble for us let's go oh oh there 
Okay, there's a path in there. I was worried for a second there. Though I had no taste, the ice cream was a treat for the eyes. I'm glad it served to ease the tension. You went really, that went really well. And you, Bader, your sense of balance is something else. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Lama tea. With your help, I was able to not only bond with my parents, but know the joy of sharing a meal with them besides. For that, so much else, I thank you. Well, um, give me the bow dance. Boom, boom, boom. Leaping through the past, cry all eager to learn more about the Milalia, Milala, Milala people. As my parents told us, the cavern inside the volcano is a place of learning about the Malala's legend, age homeland. But I'm hoping it will yield other information as well, namely, information on preservation. Preservation, the scientists who were researching interdimensional fusion, and prior to that, created the Endless. As living memory, it likely pulsed their creation. I expect they would carefully curate any details considering themselves. But I wish to keep an eye out, nonetheless. I'm all for it, of course, seeing as the key once belonged to the Malala. It couldn't hurt to hear them out. Right, let's head inside. It looks like it's gonna be like the Yakoi. Are there gonna be pictures on the wall? The steps of the speaker. Kind of. This place has the look of an ancient ruin, but I suppose it's an illusion as well. So, this is how it is in here. Uh -huh. the, the, uh, these panels containing information about the Lalala is very much like a museum. Survey? Okay, we'll do this here first, and then we'll read all the terminals. Or do I gotta read them before I touch do this? Uh-oh. I should have read the terminals first. Quite a mystical atmosphere here. Is this what the Malala, Malala homeland was like? Ding ding, correct. I swear. Okay, no. What's going on? The ancient homeland of the Malala people is recreated here in ex and exacting detail thanks to the marvel of Electro. The scale alone has been adjusted in order to accommodate full of the all proportions. Ah, but I've neglected to introduce myself. I am the guide of this facility, the steps of the speaker. It shall be my pleasure to assist you embark upon your educational journey. Okay. There's even a guide. How considerate. All right, then. As we wander around, if there's something we do not understand, we'll be certain to ask you. This is incorrect. Uh, what? Visits to our facility take form of a quiz tour. So the correct answer is follow the instructions of your guide. That's yours truly. Sounds like a pain in the ass. Sure, oh, <laughs> yeah. true and false, the riddle master, yeah, 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 that guy. I'm sure it'll be both enlightening and entertaining. Let's have them guide us. Let me read the tablets first. I actually didn't know what was going to happen. Very good, madam. I have registered the four of you as visitors. Please proceed through yonder passageway to the chambers beyond. Man, if you were alive, I'd be like, you're energetic. All right, now I'm going to read the terminals. Number one. The panel bears information, okay. In distant past, the Malala abided in peace upon isles of eternal summer. Wonder never visited this that bountiful land, and the flowers ever bloomed in all the colors of the rainbow. But such idyllic days did not last. For just when it seemed the westerly wind had turned cold, the sea suddenly froze over. From the fish in the water to the birds in the sky, all the animals soon perished. This unnatural weather continued with seemingly no end, and one by one the Malala fell until the death toll was beyond counting. 
Those who lived still could do not but pray as they huddled together for precious warmth. So they had the calamity of ice. The umbral calamity of ice. The Malala, the keepers of the mighty relic passed down through the ages, while it has the appearance of a crystal, for those in hand it wrought is unknown. When a great calamity froze their isle, the speaker, their spiritual leader, fervently prayed to the relic for salvation. In answer to their prayers, the relic opened for them a golden path, one that shone like a light of dawn, and through it they fled unto new land. Since ancient times, the Malala have excelled in calculations by using formulae and figures to represent all natural phenomena. They have succeeded in devising a unique system of magic. This gift is invaluable in their new homeland where they employed their calculations to etch arcane circuits upon the ore which later came to be known as Electrope. Oh. Through this ingenious technique, Electrope was transformed into a tool that could not only store lightning, but convert into energy of any element. So, her people would uh, etch the runes on Electrope, giving it its form. Okay. Well, its capabilities. Esteemed for their excellence in the study of Electrope, the Malala were favored by the ruler of many nations. Some of them have attempted to invoke the power of their ancient relic to return to their homeland, but their efforts were to no avail. Never again has the golden path opened that allowed their ancestors to flee to safety. Eventually, the relic came to be forgotten, and some now question whether it actually existed. Well, we know it existed. Hmm. There are two pathways. Well, aren't you pretty? And you can't look at those terminals. Okay. Is that pattern of a Lala motif? Motif. Judging by the elaborate decoration, this is in place. This is a. This was a place of importance to the Malala. This wall is illuminated. It's so beautiful. If I have you, may have your attention. You stand within the shrine of Malala, a migrant people who roamed until they found new land to call their own. According to folklore, they originally hailed from a paradise of eternal summer. Alas, they had no choice but to abandon it, but a great calamity froze the very seas. The speaker, their spiritual leader, guided them to safety, and she is a steam a shrined here with the sacred relic that she wielded. In this place, they perform rituals dedicated to the dream that one day they might return to their ancestral home. A sacred relic. That must be the key to initiate interdimensional fusion. Interdimensional fusion. If such a wondrous power existed, I can only imagine what great feats it would be used to achieve. Now then, it's time for history quiz. Uh, here we go. There are four brazers in the room, each with, uh, each of which is accompanied by a panel bearing a statement. If you believe a statement true, then you must light the brazier by opening the panel. Simple, yes? Without further ado, please nominate a representative and begin. Oh, no, it's gonna be me. If there are no objections, let's have Bader do the honors. Go on and take a look at the panels, my friend. All right. Long ago, our people dwelled on the island of eternal summer, the flowers ever bloomed. Yet yeah, it turned out at last. Uh. It is true. Praying fervently upon the sacred relic, the speaker opened a portal through which our people fled. However, she alone. No. She did not remain. I was not told she remained, at least. Owing to our initiate, uh, innate gift of arcane calculations, we Melala. Melala. La, 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 la. Not only transformed Electrope into a miraculous tool, but we excelled in studies besides. As such, despite originally being outsiders, we were favored by the rule. Yes, that is true. And Brazier of Homecoming. When lightning threatened the world, we Malala turned to our relic once more, invoking its power. We opened the portal. That's not true. All right. I believe I got it. 
Remember, you must light the braziers of those statements you believe are true, right? To be judged? Very well. Let the judging begin. You have answered correctly. Yeah! And on your very first attempt besides. Amazing. Great work, Bader. New. Yeah, this is what you get when you read, kids. <sighs> Take it at face value. The information here we, which suggests that Malala had simply migrated from distant land. But we know better. We are, we are aware of the existence of shard worlds, umbral calamities, and interdimensional fusion. For an event that froze the seeds, the fifth umbral calamity comes to mind. From uh, that which ushered into the age of endless frost. And legend holds that during that age, the entire population of the South Sea Isles vanished overnight. The art of Arcania, too, traces its roots to calculations of the South Sea Islanders. While we cannot outright conclude that these peoples were people were the Malalas, there are at least enough points of similarity to support the theory. <laughs> if you have muse to your satisfaction, let's move to the next chamber. Another quiz awaits. How many of these quizzes are there? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go this way. hurt me. Not afraid of you. Oh, hello. Interesting. What could these masks represent what mask oh you mean those what's with all these massive faces these appear to be a few expressions on these masks we have come to the most enigmatic location museum while it is not known as a speaker of rest everything while it is known the speaker rests, everything else remains a mystery. No one knows what purpose it served. Not even the Malala themselves. It's rather curious. Isn't it, though? Someone suggested that this place is purely the creation of the facility's designer. That it didn't actually exist in the Malala homeland. It generally believe it's generally believed, however, that the adornments upon the walls are masks that represent the emotions of men. And that brings us to the final quiz. The question is simple. How many types of masks are there? This last one already? Hmm, something tells me that can be as simple as it sounds. Please take your time. As much time as you recover. Okay. Oh, man. Alright, that's two. Wait, those are the same. So still two. 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 Oh, God. Three. There are three. Four. Thinking four. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. No, five. There's five. I believe it's five. So, how many masks are there? Determine your answer. Or, okay. 
four. Oh, sorry, I wasn't reading. Like Bader, I also believe it's four, as do I. And the correct answer is... Oh, some of the masks were think were upside down. Congrat four, congratulations to the three of you. Damn it, where the hell did I mess up? As the conclude, and that concludes the quiz tour for the steps of the speaker. I think if you visit today, you really look forward to your next visit. All right, thanks. I thought I counted five. I thought I saw fifth. Finished at last. God, I'm exhausted. Shut up! I did the quizzes. If the legend is true, the Malala were refugees from the source. What is this relic of theirs that can bridge worlds? Who made it? And to what end? Much about the key remains shrouded in mystery. Oh, hey, your parents are here. By augmenting it with Electro, preservation did succeed in opening a portal. Yet, they could never grasp how they had managed to do so, much less the underlying principles of the technology. To this day, not a single person understands the mechanics of interdimensional fusion, let alone who imbued the key with its power, when they did so, or why. But remember this, the key is a tool, and like all tools, in and of itself, it is a force for neither good nor evil. Once taken in hand, however, its capacity for both is made plain. In delivering one man, it may doom another, making a lie of its bearer's every good intention. As did preservation, Queen Sveen seeks to wield the key in the name of those she loves. And in so doing, makes her people party to the destruction of countless souls. <laughs> we have told you all we can. To be able to share this with you at the last, it feels as though we fulfilled our purpose. You've come to shut down the terminal. Yeah, sorry. Yes, we have. But, but perhaps there's another way, one that doesn't require the terminal's deactivation. No, it's not that simple. For the longest time, we've sought a means to erase ourselves before our knowledge could be used for ill. And in you, we have found it. So press on. Press on, and don't look back. I will. Um... Ask you one last question. Of course, my dear. The earring. Why did you leave it with me? The MacGuffin. Because, Kryle, we wanted to see you again. This may seem self-serving, but we wanted to leave a trace of ourselves with you. A hint to guide you to us, so that we could live in hope. We've dreamed of this day for so long, but now that it's become reality, 
We wonder if we deserve to enjoy it. We wanted naught but the best for you. Yet, we've always wondered how much you might have suffered in our absence. Do not torment yourself so. As fate would have it, you entrusted me to a good man. His name is Galuf, and he raised me as his own. What's more, I've been blessed with the finest comrades anyone could have. It's thanks to you that I am here now, hale and happy. So please, be at peace. Be at peace. Mother. Father. <laughs> you already have a beautiful name, but if we might call you by the one we gave you? Maya. Our dearest Maya. We love you more than life itself. Maya. My, my name... My name is Maya. Are you sure about this? You can leave the terminal to us, you know. No, I must do this. Kryle, Maya, Baldessian must press on. <sighs> press on and... Farewell, Father. Farewell. Alright, let's go. Well, that's the story of this place. If I may confide you, Bader, I've been anxious ever since I chose to accompany you to Turo. I was afraid of what I might discover. Perhaps I'd learned nothing, or worse, that my parents didn't love me. But now I know the truth, I couldn't be happier. I'm glad I took up Pictomancy. I'm glad I mustered up the courage to say that I wanted to join you. Thank you, Bader, for trusting me with your life and walking with me all this way. Well, that's all I wanted to say. I'll see this through, rather. We'll see this through together. My apologies for keeping you. Come, let's catch up with the others. I'll just do this because it's here. Yeah. Time for another dream to end. Okay, I'm gonna hop on the map. That's a little farther than I thought. You know, I would make fun of uh, Sveen for not having any, uh, like, there is no one protecting these at all. And she knows we're here. I get they make the, they say, oh, they're busy with whatever she's doing and all the energy's going over there. Still, she has to have soldiers or something. Oh, let's end another dream. This one for her parents. Lovely people, Rabor and Elia, Elila. Worry not, I shall be fine. Aaronville isn't here yet. 
The others have told me I'm glad Crow could bid her parents a proper farewell. Now then, pass the question for the second to last time. Are you ready to shut down the terminal? Time to wake up. You know how to do it. I do. Dead volcano. One more. Wind. Yeah, he's still not gonna want to talk. Just one zone remaining. Now that the ship Pia has joined us until that last zone, our memories may be gone, but their love will save me always. Yep. Are you all right, Carl? I I chose to forge forge on no matter what. I've had the courage to do so because of all of you. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. And Explorer's Delight, Kakuya is ready to head forth to the fourth and final zone. I must say, the closer we get to the end, the faster time seems to pass us by. Come, let's head to the fourth and final zone. By now you know how to get there, yes? Yes, we do. Excellent. This time, I take a quick check at the missile term. I'll... I'd like to quickly check on the missile terminal, so I'll meet you at the gate of remembrance. Come on, everyone. Two quests? Two? How dare you give me two? Well, I guess we're doing two side quests. I'm going to be doing both zones in this episode, so this one's going to be a long one. Good thing now, but I'm also doing these quests. Restless Malala. Volcanic dis disruptions. The restless Malala is fearing for the worst. You, yes you, with the weapon. Pardon my candor, but could you accompany me to the matchlock menagerie for this instance? What? No, I'm not asking you to leash on a leisurely outing. I'm asking you to save innocent lives. I spied a trio of volcanic scorpions stalking after some defenseless animal. Or I'd vanish and allow the scorpions to prey upon the, those creatures, but never forgive myself. We must make for the menagerie and def defend them no matter what the cost. Obviously, I can't chase off the nest of hungry beasts alone. It requires strength, specifically your strength. Step lively, then. We have no time to lose. Um... Goddamn, I have to go back in there now. Alright, I'm coming. I mean, all this is real, but eh. the music, nothing, it's just nothing. Well, at least I have everything still ready. Papa No Mercy immediately double down, do all that. I'm going to go right instead of left because there's that area up there I haven't explored yet. 
Also, nope, over here somewhere. Be quiet. Not much to say. Ah, this room is the same as the last, I think. I think this one would have been a globe of the world if I had a guess. The other one was more constellate, like the constellations. This one. Nah. We're not going this way, we're going this way. We're gonna do that, and hopefully I can end it there. I'll teleport, do blueprint protocol, then we'll travel back and go to the winds, attune that, and, well, have Aaronville say goodbye to his mother. You can't let me take the shortcut, eh? Let me take the shortcut. It's, hmm. You don't look like a pineapple. Alright, we're almost there. Don't you do it. So... Leave me alone. I'm here. I saw them. I saw the scorpions. They're closing in on two tiny critters as we speak. Those volcanic monstrosities terrify me. But what terrifies me more is knowing that they'll do to their quarry if we don't act swiftly. Alright. Worry now, little ones. I'm on my way. I mean, technically, if you were to die, nothing bad would happen. You'd just disappear early. Um... Guys, have fun. Actually, before I do that, let me get the Aether Current. I'm not going to worry about the protocol. I'll let it still do that. I mean, Electro... Electro is probably the worst thing they've ever done to themselves. Ruining the beautiful world of FF9 for Electro. Gods, I thought it was the end of me. They took... it. It took, that took me every last drop of courage I could muster. Thankfully, the little ones managed to escape without scratch. I ought to find them and lead them to the entrance before the other scorpions catch us in their sights. I'll meet you back there. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm teleporting back. I'll see you. Oh, that entrance. Man. Odin's, uh... is really popped up a lot for me. Fun loss, by the way. Thank you for your assistance. Hey, man. I'm here. You, my weapon-wielding friend, our lifesaver. I realize this all escalated rather quickly. We perform admirably under the pressure. Hey, no problem. Tell you the truth, I have a bit of history with those scorpions. In my previous life, I was tasked with introducing new and exciting creatures into the matchlock menagerie that our guests might know the wonders of the animal kingdom. As one might expect, the prospect of the scorpions posed a great risk, and we knew, and we often argued with upper management as whether keeping them would be worth the cost. In the end, however, the menagerie's curator ordered us to take them in. 
Supposedly, scorpion-based vodka is a popular delicacy in Alexandria before the war. A higher-up sought to recreate those drinks and share them with the masses by way of a new exhibit. Time passed and I finally returned as an endless, only to discover the menagerie in shambles. Those thrice damned scorpions have the run of the place now. I should have argued against the curator's plans when I had the chance. Should have never agreed to that terrible exhibit. No matter how hard I tried to let things go, those pangs of regret never abated. So when I spotted those innocent creatures wandering into the menagerie, I felt obliged to, to return, to save what little I could. Thanks to you, my conscience is clearer, and our fuzzy new friends are none the worse for wear. Kappa! Uh, what are they called again? Kappa! 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 Perhaps these little ones were seeking out some hot springs. Capybaras! Capybaras! We got some capybaras! They're really cute! You may be on this up. Some species do love a good soak. If that's the case, they might have lost their way on the road to Opal Springs. Regardless, I can rest easy in the knowledge that these two will have each other, even when I'm long gone. I should be able to escort them to safety from here. You have my deepest gratitude, gratitude and presumably theirs as well. Goodbye, man. All right, one more. Blueprint pro protocol. That means this will be the fourth one. Meaning, I don't believe I'm gonna any more quests I'm gonna have to do, side quest wise. And I think I'm done. Yeah, all the trees and everything are real. That's nice, at least. Leave me alone. Exhausted engineer. Blueprint protocol. The exhausted engineer requires the aid of a sharp-eyed individual. All I wanted was a relaxing reprieve in Opal Springs. I never thought it would come to this. I misplaced something precious to me, you see. A set of blueprints. I suspected I'd dropped them on my way to the springs, but the terminal suddenly shut down as when I was retracing my steps. I was so absorbed in my search, I couldn't even vanish with the others. Forgive my boldness. But you seem a gen you seem a generous sort, and I'm sure I'm sorely in need of help. Find what I'm after, and I'll make it worth your while. Before my soak, I paid a visit to the Arena of Valor. So I'll leave that area to you. For my part, I plan to scour the springs one more time. Alright. Alright, I know for a fact it's not going to be that one. It'll probably be that one or that one. Well, it'll be worth a check. Or, oh, arena advertisement. Fighting familiars, wood versus solid gold. Will Malen Malala tradition triumph or will modernity make its mark in this momental match? This appears to be a list of matches for the arena of valor. While the illustration of the clashing familiars catches your eye, it's a far cry from what you are after. Take the poster. Take it. I would love to have it. Alright. Well, I'm already in here. Let's see if it's up here. There. That's an ice cream illustration. So yeah, the blueprint, like I thought. There it is. Is it tattered documents? No, detailed. A, ma a massive tower crowned with a statue of gold woman is mapped out in painstaking detail. These appear to be blueprints to the Meso Terminal. The blueprints likely belong to the exhaust engineer. It would be best to return to Opal Springs and deliver them to her. Alright. I'm just gonna teleport. 
And then that's the last of quests I need to do over here. Technically, I could play another class, and by another, I mean a level 99 class, and do all these, but Llama? I wonder if you get the Llama at the end of the expansion. Because usually at the end of the expansion, they either give you like a nice outfit or a mount or something. So I would have to guess. Also, the hot springs don't look that hot anymore. Hey, I searched every nook and cranny for those blueprints, but I found not, not a single sheet. I don't know where else they could end up. Please tell me you managed to track them down. Terminal blueprints. An elaborate diagram, the vessel terminal, and the golden statue at its head. Depicting from several angles. There you go. Oh, my blueprints. My sweet, sweet, my dear, sweet blueprints. How I missed you. Are you one of the designers of the tower? I just knew I'd drop them on my stroll. Thank you so much for retrieving them. And notice what's behind my head. Yep. When we first began developing development on the Messel Terminal, I drafted these blueprints for its design. If you can believe it, the finished product is the work of yours truly. Well, to be fair, the concept wasn't entirely my own making. I have the Malala folklore thanks to its creation. According to said folklore, we Malala were refugees from another world. Our ancestors once lived in sun-kissed a sun-kissed paradise by the sea, that is, until those very seas began to freeze, the calamity engulfed everything in its path. Under the, under, the under the protection of the Great Speaker, my ancestors were guided to this world and left in their homeland a towering statue of their savior. The speaker was a compassionate and selfless soul, sacrificing all she had to save her people, not unlike Queen Sphine, no? With the legend of the Speaker as my inspiration, I incorporated Her Majesty's Butatious visage into the top of the terminal, forever at the heart of our city. A flawless idea, if I do say so myself. I gave everything, my passion, my time, my love of my country, to see these blueprints given shape. They aren't merely pieces of parchment. They're my life's work personified. Yet, yeah, I nearly left them the rot in the arena of valor. I would be laughing this off if, it, if I weren't so furious myself. What's more important is you brought them back, and I owe you a great debt. At this rate, I may never meet Her Majesty face to face. All I can do, all I wish to do now, is gaze upon her glorious image before I fade away. You have my thanks, stranger. May fortune favor you always. His goodbye view is going to be what he created. Something he's just internally proud of. All right, let's go back. We're done. We have done all quests that matter. Oh, let me do that. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break. Hey, I'm back. I've been off for a couple days, and guess what? Savage came out today. Won't be touching that. All right, back to this. Like I said, I'm gonna do these locations with our side quests, and then we're done. So this one's gonna go on for a while. I hope you're ready. <clears throat> as far as I can tell, we still have some leeway with the Meso Terminal. Meaning you can carry on getting to know the Endless in the last zone. Wind's Path Gardens, it's called, and it's breath breathtakingly beautiful. That's where your memories are stored, yes? That's right. I left it for last so I can guide you for as long as possible. Very thoughtful of me, yes? Oh, a great idea occurred to me. What might that be? <laughs> I'll save it for when we arrive on the other side. See you there.
Our great ideas are generally less than great. Hey, Aaronville. As much as I want to grant your mother her wish, I also want to respect yours. When all's said and done, I want you to be happy. I hope you know this. I know. I know. Aquia isn't only his mother, she's his mentor as well. I can only make it harder for him to say goodbye. Let's go. For now, we keep doing what we've been doing, seeking out the Endless and learning what to steer to them. Yeah. Let's do this. <clears throat> Also, is the sound good? Okay, I was making sure I didn't turn it down, because usually when I'm doing stuff in my own time, I turn the music and all that down. Then again, I wasn't grinding, so, yeah. Also, what's... Ah, there's new tombstones. Helometry. 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 Aesthetics. So you don't... Oh, you only get 450 a week. Ah, it used to be 900. What could this great idea of Kakuya's be? It's not. I have faith in Aravil's inner strength. Let's not keep Kakuya waiting. Alright, as usual. Boop, boop, boop. Greetings and welcome to Wind's Path Gardens, the sanctuary of ex exploration and discovery. The marvels of the nature world await you. Even a couple days later, the music gives me Twilight Town vibes. Oh, this is a neat looking location. Reminds me of the Pixies in the, um, from, uh, Shadowbringers. If I could have everyone's attention, I know we have pressing business, but I'd like to say a few words. Before I died, I had two wishes. The first was to see who my Elaneshpia would become. I would say that wish has been fulfilled. Indeed, it has. For the boy who once shunned company has returned a somewhat sociable man, surrounded by wonderful friends. As his mother and mentor both, I couldn't be more proud. As for my second wish, <laughs> that was to see all manner of nature that I had never seen before. I hoped to explore every corner of the world and there find thriving life. <laughs> but I didn't even get to see all of Tural, did I? <laughs> Never enough hours in a day, or days in a year, or years in a life. Oh, don't give me that look. Though, admittedly, I did go and spoil the mood. Apologies. What I was so poorly trying to work up to asking was this. I want you to help me fulfill my second wish. In what way, or how I should say. I have a good feeling about this place. There is so much here I've never seen before, I just know it. We'd love to see it with you. I thought you might say that. Thank you. Wind's Path Gardens is home to a collection of flora and fauna that once thrived on the continent. Like the rest of living memory, 
I haven't explored it in earnest. Controlling my vessel demanded all of my attention. But at long last, I'll get to meet the creatures here. Wrap things up with a perfect little adventure. So, shall we? And that's where the terminal is, that tree. At least I think that's the terminal. Absolutely not. We're to grant you your wish, and then what? You leave. You cannot ask that of me. It's finally oh, talking. Elena Please understand. I just wanted to end on a happy note. Not only for myself, but for all of us. Better that than a sad goodbye, surely. He's either gonna come with us or walk away. Oh, or, yeah, okay, he's coming. Yeah, at first I was confused. I'm like, you've been dead for how long and here for how long? You haven't explored it? Ooh, you've been busy with the terminal and oblivion. Okay, at least that's explained. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What, what do I do? Go away. I don't want you. Stop it. Uh, the Windows button was apparently hit. The Sanctuary Exploration discovered. Quite fitting that Kakuya's memories are here. Yep, he still doesn't want to talk. How very like Kakuya to chase her dreams to the last. Let's help Kakuya make some good memories. Then with your consent, let's begin our adventure. I have a feeling... This entire, the gardens was going to be all about her because her memories are here. And her son is literally with us. I have a feeling we weren't going to be do, following anyone else but her for this one. Naturally, while we go about this, feel free to continue befriending Endless. And be sure to absorb the delightful scenery. I got a feeling that when he finally says goodbye to her, it's going to get emotional. Um, well, there is one to the west. I could grab it while I'm over here. What are you? Everlasting you. Invaders from Sile. 123. Yeah, it's over here. Who are you? Agavoids? Agavoids. Alright. At least we'll have... I'll have one less to get off screen. Alright, to north. Let's go do the quest. Then go to the arrow or that, because that's almost done. The Timberman. Oh, that's a gatherer, I can tell. Anything, man? I somehow anticipated this. The scenery here is nothing short of remarkable. The Sphinx Fiend has managed to preserve it from the, for the Endless. What lovely garden. I thought those things were some sort of enormous tree, but they're actually sculptures. Oh, those. Hmm. This particular garden is called Blooms of Discovery. Beautiful, isn't it? There's the Aetherite. It is lovely. I guess that reminds me of the world of the Pixies and Shadowbringers. 
Almoga or whatever it's called. Like, I think it was Lakeland. It's absolutely stunning. No, Lakeland was purple. And the, it's absolutely stunning. Are they all actual plants? They are indeed. These specimens were brought here hundreds of years ago from conservation, as the calamity had pushed them to the brink of extinction. So this zone is like a great conservatory. Precisely, my dear Kryle. Here you'll find flora and fauna to the likes of which no longer exist elsewhere. Wait, 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 wait. I saw that. You'll know what I mean in a second. Doesn't the thought just set your heart flutter? I suppose. I expected that some creatures I encountered outside Turl might may have cousins in this world. While I'm no expert on life in the reflections, it would make an interesting study to compare them. Oh, well, he's talking. Now there's an idea. Okay, those flowers are from Endwalker. Heidelin herself gave us one. Now there's an idea. L leave to my people to think of such. Here we have not only a, a, only a world's traver, tra, traversing adventurer and a veteran gleaner, but a pair of Char, Charlia's finest scholars besides. It's a veritable gathering of inquid, inquid, inquisitive, 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 English. I speak it, and I'm thrilled to be part of it. All right, what do I want? Quick ton, PAD, battle dance. I'll take the battle dance, I guess. I won't be using the material. I'll probably sell it, but yeah. In search of discovery, Kakuya's eyes sparkle in anticipation of discovery. To begin with, I'd like you to scout out the vicinity and report back with any points of note. This would be a good opportunity to speak with the locals. They bound to be familiar with the area, after all. And Ella Shapi. Ellen, Ellie, Ellen Eschapia suggested it. It would be interesting to compare the creatures here with those native out to the source. I never venture outside Tyrol, so I look forward to your insights. Just leave it to us. I, uh, I've never, I've only ever been to Charlie, Charla, Charlian myself. But I like to think I know interesting when I see it. Stupid work brain. Oh, of everyone, I dare say you're, you've been to most places. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hello there. What am I doing, you ask? Look up the trunk. See the plants with capsules? These are the specimens that either can't survive in Wind's Path Gardens or would become invasive and disrupt the ecosystem. The capsules recreate the conditions they require for tropical to frigid climes while keeping them isolated. In this way, any and all parts plant life can be pre preserved forever, just like ourselves. I see. Yes, I'm looking. You see a creature wandering. Ah, that. That resembles the treants, natives to the Twelves Wood. Yeah, the Timberman. Alright, there's another one. Probably be about the flower. I doubt we're going to mention the tree again. Or the Aetherite crystal. I don't know what this one's going to mention. The flower garden appears to be meticulously man ma maintained. Not by analysts, but by machines. Water watching analysts. Do you know that even the water here is created using electro 
the initial product is too pure, though, though an adjustments have been made so the composition resembles what's found in the natural environment. That's just one of many things they do to create the ideal conditions for these plants to thrive. I don't know what's become of the world outside the barrier, but I should like to visit a lovely spot such as this in real life. Speaking of lovely spots, have you been at the top of this lookout here? It's a great vantage point, and there's even a food stall in case you're hungry. Can I swim? Alright, yeah, so the water is real-ish. Yeah, it's 100% the console, I believe, over there. It stands out to me. Come on, Garnet. We're nearing the end. I believe. Basil. 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 Or it's basil or basil. Terminal gazing endless. My ancestors aren't actually Alexandrian, but hail from a place called Con. <gasps> That's where the dwarves live in FF9 in the stone building, Conde Piti. They have some unique custom. Lally Ho! Yep. They have a unique custom there. For instance, when greeting someone, they say Lally Ho in a spirited manner. Our settlement was also famous for a gigantic tree. Yeah, the life of tree. Uh, that grew nearby. It was so enormous that when you stood at the base, the roots covering the ground. Yeah, the life of tree where all the mist came from. The terminal here at Wines Path Gardens is apparently inspired by that very tree, the Life of Tree it was named. It may not be real, but it's nice to have it as a memento of for prosperity. So that is a symbol of the Life of Tree, as the roots... You know, I see it. I see it. I hate to say it, Life of Tree is a lot more scary. You're going with healing magics too, because... There's a lot of undead in the life of tree, and man, Akira, who will wreck their day? I love when I was little, I had no idea that you could cast healing magics on undead enemies, and I figured it out one day, I'm like, it damaged them. My god. Just like in FF10, the final boss, you can instantly kill with an elixir or a phoenix down. I think it was a phoenix down. Erebu! There was a beast I've never seen before. Yeah. While the Abertums of Shalala imitate natural envi environs, this place has the feel of an exhibit. In the sense, the World Gardens does suit it well. She's also doing this to get him more involved and all that. No, she's now talking more and more because he's doing something he's comfortable with. Hello. Ah, oh, welcome back, Bader. Kral just discovered, delivered to me the most fascinating report. You have some engaging impressions, too, I share. Uh, too, I, share, I hope. Also, she could just be doing this, even though she's been here before, just to get us more involved in mostly, like I said, him. Well, well. That is all interesting indeed, but I must say I am most fascinated by the abounding trees. While they are similar creatures in Akapaka, could you tell me more about the treants as you know them? They're native to all wood. Uh, they're very. Sp uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They like to hurl acorns at you. Exploding ones. <laughs> yeah, I got hit in the face with a few. <laughs> Is that so? To maintain the ecosystem with such formidable creatures. Eh, they're like level 15. I imagine there must be other e equally imposing spe species to keep them in check. Yeah, it's weird. The management of the ecosystem that calls to that calls to mind. Labrathos does not. I'm shocked we're bringing. Oh wait, no, it's that one. Oh right, I, th I thought it was something else. That does. Right, last expansion, they were filling like an arc. Because they knew the world was ending. 
Lest you wonder, Lavaros is a storage facility deep beneath Charlion that contains a recreation of temperature climate zones. Such a place exists. Amazing. By the by, did anyone else catch a glimpse of a large scalekin? A large scalekin, you say? What does it look like? Nothing I've seen before, but it had a rodent like form and walks in all fours. If it looks like a rodent, wouldn't that make it a bee skin? No, it's covered in scales. Does that appear to mimic succulent plants? By that, I would definitely classify it as a scalekin. Well, it's hard to say for certain without seeing it. Why don't you show me? Very well, I was in the flower field earlier. And should be in here. Let's head over there, then. When we find it, we'll see who's right. The two of you should come along, too, and let us your opinions. Like I said, she's doing all this to get her son involved and all that, and open him up more. Go on ahead, Bader. I'll let the others know and then join you. By the way, I'm keeping this jacket for a while. I am putting this in my glamour dresser when I'm done with it. When I start getting like raid gear and all that. Oh, I love this outfit too much. With the gun blade, it's just amazing. I don't know why I really like it. This is the area. The beast didn't give me the impression it moves quite, quite frequently. Frequently. <laughs> this is so exciting. Come on, I'll help us find a creature. Okay. I'll stand right here and look that way. Also, you have to forgive me if I keep slipping up every now and then and saying things that don't belong there because I'm trying to read a little faster. Oh my god, it's adorable. You spot beasts resembling an enchivore you encountered on the first. That's the one that, that, those aren't scales. I see, I see. At first glance, it certainly looks like both scale and, and scale kin and beast kin. Let's examine it more closely, shall we? Tell me your observations. I'm going to say it's a beast kin. I mean, yes, it, does, it is covered in plant like scales. That was also the first thing I noticed. I dare say those scales were hiding in foliage. Having studied it, believe the scales upon its back are in fact a unique form of hide. Rather than being shed, it grows from the creature. Hmm, you may be right. If we consider that along with its other characteristics, just face and hands, it's more likely to be beastkin, like you said. A physical examination would be needed to confirm this beyond doubt, but I'm satisfied. Simply do I've seen it. It seems you alone were familiar with these species. Where did you encounter it? Uh, don't remember. The fair- oh! Yeah, just like the flowers and everything here. The fairy kingdom of the first. Yep, we killed a few of them. And then we fought a boss armadillo in the well. Vader has been to the very edge of existence. Literally. He has seen life that others could only imagine. I have seen ghost dragons too. Amazing creations truly hold no mystery. No end of mysteries. Yeah, I've seen ghost dragons on a desolate planet in space next to a giant malevolent creature that wanted to eat, uh, end all life. Yeah. Oh, how I'd love to see them all. The life beyond the bounds of our star and plain boat. Oh, he's sad again. Looks like we're having fun. Well, we were, and now he's sad again. Ah, hearing about the unknown never fails to rouse me. I feel the same way when Ketaram and Galuf teased me. It treated me to tales of their travels. You met my grandfather too. Oh, didn't I already mention it? 
It was when Galov came to Toral to investigate Golden City. I happened to have business with Gulu Jaja, so we met in Tuliolo. Little did I know that tiny babe he was cradling would return as you. I think our paths have already crossed all those years ago. Not only yours and mine either. Helen Shapio was there too, you know. I don't remember. It's quite fine if you don't. It was actually because Gallup told me about Charlie and then I er later urged Ella Shapia to take up gleaning. Not fussy bun bun was growing up dour and withdrawn. It was when I was at Wood's End that I recalled your grandfather's story about cleaners. Seeing the world through their adventures would inspire change for the better, I believed. I still love that, my fussy bun bun. I'm sorry I was dour and withdrawn. If you ask me, you still have some work to do, but it's because you're on the way. But it's because you're that way, you're with us now. And I am, for one, grateful. Eh. Well, let's keep moving, shall we? There's a facility I've been wanting to visit the Clara Museum of Nature. They're supposed to have creatures to take you on leisure flights. There's just one problem. It seems like three people could fly at one time. Then you and Aaronville should go. The rest of us will ha uh, then the rest of us still have plenty of other things to do before we uh, well, uh, we can. Ah, what have I done? If there's room for one more, why don't you come with us, Bader? I don't want to be a third wheel on this one. And so the museum is at the bottom of the ramp that runs west of Leno de Aero. Come on. You know, I don't want to be a third wheel with, uh, you two. Alright, so I'm doing this. Oh. Now, all this time, my grandfather was the common thread between us. I mean, I thought we knew that. Look after Aaronville for me. I mean, I have no promises. Do not mind us. Enjoy yourselves. We shall explore a little more and then make our way to the terminal. Uh... That means what's going to happen here is basically the end for probably her. Yep, still northwest. Oh, um, hello. I take it I won't be able to jump down there, so let's not do that. You want me to go 222? 222? Roger Dodger. The knowable. Oh my, that's beautiful. It's a, they have an aquarium. I think that's an aquarium. I hear you. Wait, wait. wait. Oh, it was that. I mean, I might as well get this. We're close. Yeah, I think that's an aquarium. Hey, you two. Give me, like, half a barrows. There we go. All right. I should be able to fly sooner or later. Doesn't look like, doesn't look the part. This museum, I must say, I'm curious what's inside. Here, is, here it is, the Clara, the Clara Museum of Nature. The main building is closed due to the aether shortage, but happily they're still offering leisure flights. And you said flights, not runs. And these are the bells I'll bear us. How adorable. They all look capable of flight. Oh, come on now, you know, 
You know better than to judge a creature by its appearance. This will be great. I know it. Yeah, even I'm judging it by its appearance. That doesn't... It's the never-ending story. Haha. <laughs> a never-ending journey. Kakuya is ready to take the sky on... Mahiwa Payara. Don't ever make me say that again. I beg your pardon, but this is... But this is where you can go on leisure flights, yes? Indeed it is. Bearing you will be our adorable Mahawiya Paras, who are specially trained by a truly friend. You say the word and we'll send you up, up and away. And there you have it, shall we then? You are ready? Then go up and mount up. The Mahi Paharos flight are set are set route. You only need you, so you only need to relax and enjoy the view. Alright, let's go. <laughs> How exhilarating. I mean, I'm shocked this thing next fly. I'll be damned, they really do fly. Hey! The way we're flying in formation, don't we look like migrating birds? I would Except we're on giant rodents. Speaking of migrating birds, the malword is where you where your name come from. Did I ever tell you that? That I knew, but I learned it from the shaman shamanins, not from you. A migraine bird can fly anywhere it desires, even across oceans and distant continents. And you just done that, my clever mallard. <laughs> I think you have to call me that. Oh dear, is it over already? Time really does fly when you're having fun. What a joy to see living memory from up high. Ah, oh, that was wonderful. An experience worth saving for the very end. The two of you enjoyed yourselves, as I trust? Yeah. It was enjoyable enough, I suppose. From my fussy bun bun, that's high praise. I'm glad I invited you, Bader. Thank you for indulging me. If I could, I'd go for another hundred rides by myself for the one. It's time we were heading to the Arrow Terminal. If there are still things you wish to do, you'll want to do now. When you're ready, make your way along the path yonder. I'll make the others... I'll find the others and let them know the same. Still not ready. Hey man. She's only a facsimile constructed from her memories. I understand this. But when she's right there, as alive and spirited as I've ever known her, how am I supposed to do it? How am I supposed to erase her? Does she even know how it tears me apart? I can take a guess and say yes. That's 3% done. I could do that. I'll make it in time. Nope. Uh -huh. How much time's left? Oh. You know what? Never mind. I didn't see the time. The funny thing is, that's actually one of the enemies that the benchmark showed off. Was that one. Wind Spirits. 
Yeah, okay, so I was right. This is, well, I've learned anyways, because it's taken after the life of tree. And once again, we go inside the life of tree and cut out whatever's keeping them up. Also, let me activate this. That's not for any reason, just so I forgot to reactivate it. It's not fair. We saw you from below. It looked like you're having fun. It will be hard, but let us send Kakuya off with a smile. We'll be there for Aaronville. Oh, I got a feeling this is going to probably bring tears. Especially the way Aaronville's so... You know. Ah, how delightful this has been. Not since my journey with the Dawn Serpent have I enjoyed myself so. No, I'm selling it short. This was even better. Lies. And that's because I was able to share this adventure with my darling boy. Well, this is as far as I can go. As for the rest... Just stop. You're doing it again. Deciding everything by yourself, and then disappearing. Ellen Espia, you're my pupil, so you ought to understand. Everything that lives must one day die, and that which has died isn't meant to return. This is the way of nature. Mine is an unnatural existence, and I've suffered it only because I had to unmake this twisted mausoleum. But now that brave souls have appeared to whom I might entrust my mission, I may finally embrace the end. Can't you be happy for me? How could I be happy? I was actually quite scared, you see. Scared that I'd be trapped inside the barrier forever and denied the thrill of discovery for all my days. Your coming gave me courage and comfort, Ellen Eshpia. More than you know. And now here I stand, unburdened and free. In this moment, the happiest of my life. Hmm. And those feelings will live on. As you wish, Mother. I'll continue what you began. You were right, of course. Leaving home has broadened my horizons. I've met my friends and found this place. So I bid you leave your dreams with me. And no, I'll go where you couldn't go and do what you couldn't do. I will. Look at you. All grown up and dependable. Yet with so much more ahead. A world of experiences await you, each a lesson of its own. Hug, hug, hug. You may know failure and burning regret, but these two shall become beacons to guide you. So come what may, hold your head high and carry on with conviction. And wherever your journeys take you, 
keep me close to your heart, will you? I should like to be there, to see what I haven't seen. You will be, Mother. Now, run along, and never forget that you're my pride and joy. I trust you all can handle the rest. Take care, and farewell. Couldn't ask for more fulfilling final hours than these. So happy I met you, Bader. You and everyone. Thank you for the memories. And thank you for watching over my Ellen Ship. Ellen Shipia. You'll be fine now. I know it. Alright. I'm gonna go up the life of tree and shut down again. I think, like Kryle, Aaronville's gonna be shutting this one down. We can carry on with our hopes and memories in our hearts. Let's see our pass through to the end. More doubts, I will shut down the terminal. Good. We'll leave us to you, Aaronville. Now, I won't waver. Not anymore. If you're... If you're ready yourselves, and so am I. This dream's finally coming to an end. She's taking the sights of the flowers and everything for the last time. Though you think she'd be looking at her son, but then again, she probably doesn't want him seeing her looking at him. That makes all of them. Spine's not gonna be happy though. All that remains is to wait for the Meso Terminal to become vulnerable when it's about to initiate fusion. And then we strike. Hmm. Could be the final time too. But the dream's over now. It's time to awake. Please be advised, we are entering the final phase of world bridging. Repeat, we are entering the final phase of world bridging. 
Well, there it is. The ether of all residents will shortly be replenished. Be at ease. No action on your part is required. We thank you for your patience. Wait, it's already begun? There it has. Alright. Alright. Let us finish this. Yeah, so, yeah, it sounds like we're 100% at the end. Okay. Not... A moment too soon. If she's saying she won't let us do as we please anymore. Anyway, if it's as if she's saying she won't let us do as we please anymore. Through our per our time here, we've come to know what it is Sphine seeks to protect, but that doesn't change what we have to do. True. Everyone, as you can see after these, honestly. Some of them made me kind of tear up because we were, in a way, killing some people. Well, we were ending them, but yeah. And some of them scenes were really sweet and all, but it looks like the next one's the last one for them is Q. We're officially at the Dawn Trail. Usually in every expansion, the name of the expansion, usually it's the last quest. So... Prepare for the next one to be probably longer than the others. Because if it's the last quest, I have a big fight, bunch of cutscenes, and a bunch of things going on. Ah, yeah. oh, man. The silence is deafening. But yeah, I'll see you next time. And next time... We hit the Dawn Trail. So yeah, see ya.